share and upload 360 degrees images to Facebook using Cinema 4D, V-Ray for Cinema 4D, and Photoshop CC. Let's see how to create a 360 degree render. First of all, you need to position a V-Ray camera at the center of your scene at around 100 centimeters from the ground. Then open render settings and choose spherical camera. Activate override FOV and V-Ray FOV 360 degrees. Deactivate all the other settings right here. Then go to render settings output and here you will need to render the image with a ratio of 2 to 1, otherwise it won't work on Facebook. For this example I used 6144 times 372 pixels, but you can use whatever suits your needs. This is our final render. You can also decide to choose instead of a spherical camera, a box camera if your scene is very complicated and you might have, for example, a very large chandelier right at the center of the scene, which takes a lot of time to render. If you choose a box camera, the only things you need to change are the V-Ray camera type to box. And in render settings under output, your image ratio will be 3 to 4. Once you have your render, this is what it will look like. But you will have to convert it to an image with a 2 to 1 ratio because that is the only one accepted by Facebook. Therefore, before converting it, you can adjust your image using Photoshop as you please. Once you feel the image is final, you will have to open it once again in the picture viewer in Cinema 4D. Go to File, Convert HDR Cross. Save as and choose Photoshop PSD 8-bit. Open the image in Photoshop Choose Discard Embedded Profile. At this point, you can save it as a TIFF or JPEG, always selecting Embed Color Profile. Now let's open this website. Upload your rendered image here. Click here. Now under Make Write RICO. Under Model, write Ryko Theta S. And then click down here. Close the editor. And click on Download Me. If you're using Safari, right click on it and choose Download File with Name. Now you can upload the saved file to Facebook. Facebook might take a few minutes, so ju you just need to wait. Thank you for following our tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will explain how to prepare and upload 360 degree videos to YouTube and Facebook. If you want to stay updated with our tutorials and new releases, subscribe to our newsletter. You can find all our links in the info box below.